so here I've made um, an Italian oil bread or if you like a focaccia it's doubled in size which I wanted it to do it's nice and smooth nice glossy feel to it but really with focaccia you need a lot of oil in it but I'm going to include garlic olives sun-dried tomatoes parsley and thyme and here I've got a load more garlic a bit of chili in there that I'm going to add to the bread when I make my indents into it in probably about five minutes so I'm just adding it in, folding it over, keeping it nice and oily. Right, so you can't get enough oil into this bread. Delicious Italian focaccia. This is the shape that you want to get it into and you've manipulated it in perfectly. Goes onto the tray, a bit more oil just for luck. And then I'll come back in five minutes and do the indentations and I'll put more garlic and some chili in. So my focaccia has just about doubled inside. What I'm going to do now is make it classic indent. Finger, oil, push in. Then I'm going to put some garlic and a little bit of chilli in there. And I'm going to do it three or four times down one side. And I'm going to go right the way around the edge, pushing the garlic and the chilli until you get right to the bottom of the bread. So this bread will be full of garlic, it's salty, it's crispy, and it's classically Italian. So once I've done this, the bread will go in the oven for about 50 minutes on a high heat of around about 205. And what we'll end up with is a very, very nice classic Italian loaf. There's the indentations. And here I'm gonna put on some of the Crystal sea salt. And we are done. So now the focaccia is ready to go into the oven. It's going in at 205, probably for about 45 to 50 minutes. And in it goes.